All right, we are doing a little review of Guard Dog Body Armor. Um, anytime I see a plate that's inexpensive, there's a degree of doubt. Like putting a cheap optic on a gun or wearing, you know, crappy ear pro or crappy eye pro. It's like those are important things and these are covering important parts of my body. Um, so this is level four. This is 6.5 pounds. The material is aluminum and a, and a PE. So it's kind of squishy, it's contoured nice. This is inside of their plate carrier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plate carrier, I'm gonna throw it over that seat right there. And I'm gonna take this bag of guns right here and I'm gonna do like this graduated um, increasing in intensity in the rounds that I shoot into it to see how it performs. Um, you know, level four is gonna be stopping everything I'm gonna be shooting at it. And uh, we'll see how it gets energy off. So there's a plate in the front and there's a plate in the back. And uh, after we see how this front plate does with uh, stopping this ver these variety of rounds, then I'll throw uh, the back plate to the front and then I'll just make sure it fails because I want to see where that is. Uh, so here it is, guard dog body armor. Testing them out. We'll go nine millimeter, 45, 5.7. Then we'll do 5.56 from a short barrel rifle, 5.56 from a 16 inch rifle. Then we'll maybe hit with a 300 blackout. We'll see how this thing does. Try to get a good angle on this thing here. All right. You got eyes and ears. There you go, nine millimeter. That was just a 115 grain. Yeah, no surprise. Absolutely no. Uh, no deformity in the body armor. Yeah, sounds like everything's still together, intact. Shoot a big bullet. We'll shoot this uh, 45 and do it. This is kind of fun just having like a bag of guns in here. Ooh, there's some movement there. That wouldn't be fun to get hit with. Yeah, nothing happening on the back. Plate carrier still totally intact. No fragmentation. This armrest right here is getting in my way. Okay, 5.7. Oh, and this new FDE color, so hot. Uh... In. Totally fine. That was that was kind of center center. You can see all my impacts here. So that was nine millimeter. That was forty five, and that five five or that five seven was right in the middle. All right, now we'll shoot um, a regular fifty five grain ball. Then we'll shoot. The old army, green tip, then we'll shoot the new army. Um, we'll shoot first out of a short barrel rifle, and then, uh, then we'll throw it in my SCAR 16. Let's see how it does. Point blank, 55 grain, short barrel rifle, still totally fine, nothing on there. I really want to pull.
pull it out and see how it's doing. Now we'll go my Scar 16S. Trying to hit it in different spots, but I think at this point, there's not a lot of real estate that's left over. Oh yeah, I can, you see like the smoke. Now there's a little bit of debris. Can you see on this here, right here on the, there's some debris that's coming out of the bottom of the plate carrier. Hey. All still totally together. I can I can hear the and smell particles from the PE portion. The aluminum still feels like it's holding together just fine. So we'll hit it with the 300 blackout. Then we'll pull that plate out and see how it's doing. All right. Woo! It's toasty. Still totally fine. So we shot it with nine millimeter, we shot it with 45, we shot it with 5.7, we shot it with 5.56 five, ball. Then we shot it with, with uh, then we shot a 5.56 five, out of a 16 inch, and then we just shot it with a 300 blackout. So let's take a little peek at this plate. They have a cool little mounting system on the side that has some redundancy. Um, what you can see in here already is the plate carrier itself is trapping a whole bunch of this malarkey. So you have this bottom supporter. Here we go. There's the ball, oh, that's still toasty from the 45. Here's the nine millimeter. Here's the 5.56 five, and 5.56 five, five, and here's the 300 blackout. So everything, check out the back of this. You see a little bit of bulging right here from those two rounds of 5.56. Five, five, um, so I'm going to zip this thing up real fast, this plate right here, and then we'll flip it around and see how it does. So I stacked a couple more rounds right on top of it. Here's the stuff still coming out. We can now, I'm still gonna get in here. The plate is still taking, I'm stacking rounds on top of them now. Let's uh, switch to the green tip. All right, Some army green tip. Come on. Okay. I think we now have a degree of failure. But I had to earn that, didn't I? So there's still no bullets that came out, but you can see little bits of fragmentation. And I can feel the spalling. There's some of the spalling right there that's starting to come through. So all around, man, I am so impressed. 
you know, I had to stack rounds on top of them to, to get this to fail. We're gonna throw this plate carrier around and uh, shoot this side of the plate carrier. And we'll shoot kind of the newest, best armor penetrating stuff there is. Let's see how it does. Five five six by four five. Okay. So what we have here is that group right, right on top of each other right center mass of the plate and here's the back all right guard dog body armor sustain Nice.